jam. Hey. Toon jam. Hello and welcome to Toon Jam. I am Matt. And I'm Jayman. And today we are recording a special uh, isolation edition of <laughs> Toon Jam. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the first one we've recorded since the global pandemic that is COVID-19, coronavirus. Um, but we would not let that stop us and have instead decided to use Skype <laughs> to record our wonderful, wonderful musings. That's it. So apologies for any slight delays uh, that may occur inevitably. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, any... It, well, it's weird. It's bizarre because obviously usually we're in person and now, mm. you know, we're just sitting alone in our rooms talking <laughs> over a computer. What has the world come to? What, what has happened? Well, we thought it was the perfect opportunity to delve into the the better times of the past. <laughs> And uh, today we are talking about Thundercats. Ho! Ho! Ho, indeed. Um, for those that don't know, Thundercats is an American animated television series that was produced by Rankin Bass Animated Entertainment and Leisure Concepts, debuting in 1985 based on the characters created by Ted Tobin Wolf. The series, for which Leonard Starr was the head writer, follows the adventures of a group of cat-like humanoid aliens. The animation for the episode was provided by the Japanese Studio Pacific Animation Corporation, with Masaki Lizuka as production manager. The studio was acquired in 1989 to form Walt Disney Animation Japan. Fun fact. Uh, season one of the show aired in 1985, consisting of 65 episodes, which, if you ask me, is a gratuitous first season. <laughs> it uh, really is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was then followed by a TV movie entitled Thundercats Ho, and that's H-O in capitals with an exclamation mark at the end. I don't know if I really did that justice, but that was released in 1986, and then seasons two, three, and four each contained 20 episodes, far more reasonable, uh, starting with a five-part story, again, less reasonable. Uh, in total, there's 130 episodes. Ooh. Pretty crazy. Uh, in 1989, the um, distribution company was acquired by Warner Brothers, and they now own the rights to Thundercats, which is why I guess Thundercats Raw exists. Yes. Um, which is the new one, which I believe has just started. There's like six episodes out or something of like that. Right. So we will definitely be visiting that. Yeah, there was a um, there was another iteration before, wasn't there? There was like a. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, there was a. Was it 2011? Something like, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Um, I believe. Yes, there was another series, uh, which I don't think did very well, did it? No, I don't think so, no. No, just didn't didn't catch the uh, the wave of, of pop culture, I guess, at the time. Too, yeah. too outdated, maybe? I don't just know. It was weird. Kids were interested. I think it was, like, very close to... It was closer to the original than Raw is. But like they'd still adjusted stuff, so I think it was like maybe just like not not the right balance, maybe or I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it was quite. I've seen I've seen that one because mm. um, I mean shameful admission. I don't think I'd ever actually watched an episode of Thundercats before. I'd really? watched this episode. Yeah, the original. Oh, one. Whereas I had oh. seen the the two thousand eleven one. Right. Before. Um. Yeah, and I remember it being all right. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd seen a couple episodes, but I was like, eh, it's just not, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't really know what to make of it, really. No, it well, apparently, um, 
viewing figures slowly declined um, with blame falling on a relatively dark and complicated storyline considering right. the show was aimed for uh, 6 to 12 year olds merchandise struggled to sell and as a result the show was cancelled after only one season so oh. I, I would I would argue that that was probably the show that people now that don't like the idea of Thundercats Raw yeah. would have liked yeah but then did they watch that? No, they, no, they didn't. Maybe it was just too soon. Yeah. Too soon yeah. for that wave of nostalgia. That's it. That outrips uh, <laughs> and, and the world. Um, interesting, fun fact. Fun fact, I'd like to start with a fun fact. 2008-2009, uh, Warner Brothers was in the process of creating a CGI animated film oh. based on thundercats uh, which was rumored to be released in 2009 2010 um it says it contained the main character liono and three locations what <laughs> yeah <laughs> three locations cool. were in the film nice now oh, well they did a lot of planning by the time the scene was filmed and presented hmm. to warner brothers so i wonder if that's out there somewhere um but then it was put on indefinite hold, aka no, probably be cancelled by now because yeah. you know, ten years on. <laughs> um, but it was perhaps due to the critical and commercial failure of the two thousand eight movie Speed Racer. Huh. So I think it says another Warner Brothers CGI project. So it must. Does right. it mean like if they did a Thundercats movie, it was in the same sort of vein, actually, like live action, but with maybe, yeah. I remember seeing a lot of fan videos at that point with like Vin Diesel as like Lion or something. <laughs> with like really dodgy edits where they just like taken scenes from movies and then just like drawn yeah. cat marks on their faces. It like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> really dodgy. But it was still mildly entertaining. So obviously I've not I, I've not really got any memories of it. I knew I knew what it was. And I think mm my cousin might have had a few like toys of it or something right I'd never i'd never seen it you you watched it quite a lot didn't you as a kid I did, yeah i had uh, it was one of my my handful of videos that i had uh, so i had i had like three episodes on video i think um yeah. oddly, uh, I, I had a friend who also had three episodes on video and we swapped <laughs> we swapped videos at some point but i had his case so, like, I always remember reading the back of the case being like, yeah, that sounds really good, but then never knowing, like, why I've never seen that episode because uh, of the wrong video. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a confusing time for me. Um, but I did also have some toys as well. Um, I had the Sword of Omen, which was, like, amazing because it was, like, a really cool-looking sword, and yeah. it lit up. Like, you press the button on the side and the little... Thundercats logo like projected onto your wall. So, oh, that's that was, sick! Yeah, yeah, it was really good. That was like one of my favorite toys. Um, yeah. I think I had a snarf as well, like a snarf figure, and maybe somebody else. Yeah. I think I had a guitar as well. Um, yeah, see, I, I, I'm trying to remember what my cousin had. Um, maybe it was, I don't, I don't remember. The, I remember the sword, but I don't think he had the sword, so maybe I'd just right. seen it in something. Yeah. I don't know what he had, uh, but I knew of him. He might have just had a lino, and he had a little sword or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Really vague. Really not really adding much to this conversation. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes, though. You just yeah. you just know it. It's like it's like some guy that you bump into on the street, and it's like you don't really know him, but you've got uh, they're I've like three it. people removed I've from seen you. Them crossing you know? the road before. Yeah. Yeah, my uncle uh, lent him a, a quid once when uh, he, he's borrowed his van. So, yeah, I know him. Yeah, he's all right. My uncle, my uncle borrowed a, a video off him and got the case. <laughs> yeah, switch the cases round. The old, the old case, case switch. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're, they're happy because they've got better cases. They'll, they both prefer the other cases, but they've still got their own videos. Yeah, it's the way to do it, really. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Did you ever play any of the games? Um, there's two know. apparently two games well two video games there's one uh, was made in 1987 yeah The Lost Eye of Thundera oh what was that on? Um, I, I, I can't really tell you let me have a quick look because it's not coming up I don't oh, remember the, 
Commodore 64. Oh, yeah. NES. Oh, was it on the NES? Yeah. No, I don't remember any games. The Amiga. Well, maybe I had. Maybe that's why I remember it. Maybe I had that. Ah. But then apparently there was uh, a Nintendo DS game based on the 20, 2011 revival as well. Oh, right. Well, I definitely didn't play that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody did. Nobody did. <laughs> it's weird how these, like, dark cartoons, they, they, there's like a time they do well and there's a time they don't. Yeah. Because I like, look at Gargoyles. Yeah, per perfect example. That was that did like really well. People still like it now. Mm. Um, I mean, it's not one of the most remembered cartoons in history, but anyone mm. our age would at least have seen it. Yeah. I mean, Batman the Animated Series. Is pretty yeah. Dark. And that's yeah. that's famous for for just how how gritty it got sometimes, like. Yeah, yeah. The whole look of it was is just dark. It's just dark overall. Yeah, but now seemingly we're we're, we're at the the opposite end of that. Yeah, yeah. With like it seems to turn, the, doesn't it? Like two and three. Does, yeah. The new iterations are a lot lighter with like Brave and the Bold and stuff like that. It's like yeah. the complete opposite. So. Well, yeah. I mean, what's it, the moment it's Justice League action, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Teen Titans Go. DC superhero girls. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and then you just look at the popular cartoon. I mean, what what have we watched? Uh, Adventure Time, yeah. Steven Universe, regular show. Yeah, they're they're all quite bright and fluffy, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It is. It, like, I think that's what what people are upset about with Thundercats Raw, prospectively, isn't it? That, that it follows that style of like very rounded. The sort of Cal art in brackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, like feel. Um, and obviously, the original Thundercats people were like, that's, that's not my Thundercats. But, yeah. and, you know, the five people that watched the 2011 series are like, that's definitely not my Thundercats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it'll be interesting to watch. Um, yeah. Because even, I, I've never, se I've only seen like bits and bobs of each, really. Mm. Um, and I, I can honestly say when I saw the new one, it did seem a bit strange. Yeah. Uh, just clips of it. It was a bit like this. Just seems completely different. Um, yeah. But then, is that what it takes to appeal to an audience now? That's it. Maybe. Maybe right, it's yeah, really drastic like, measures. Yeah. Because I mean, you know. I'm sure if you if you remade well look at like Felix the Cat. Yeah. When we watched the remakes of that from for the, from the nineties. Mm. I'm sure even though they've got elements of the same thing, it looks like a proper nineties cartoon, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So I suppose you know, when that came out with the people like, Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> this is not my Felix. <laughs> Maybe an odd one to choose, but I'm sure there's other ones that. Yeah, but yeah, it is weird how it how it works in waves like that. Yeah. Um, but let's uh, let's let's talk about so 1985 Thundercats. Thundercats. This is like pure 80s. Yeah, it is from this the open. Or outside of my comfort zone. <laughs> it very much is. <laughs> pure un unchanging 80s vibes going through and through As, i mean this is I, i'd say between this and like he-man maybe that they've just there's so much powerful 80s-ness about it that yeah it, it's it really is like the pinnacle like everything yeah, it's like, from... you know it's well 80s when people have got like hair that's way too dry and fluffy <laughs> yeah um, it's the Possible hair. muscle men wearing women's bathing suits yeah yeah that's like that is basically these cartoons yeah and, and a lot of makeup you know, and some some like over the top guitar when necessary as well yeah like 
you only have to listen to the theme tune to hear someone absolutely breaking all of their fingers at once <laughs> on, on guitar strings. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, it's pretty cool, though. I would say the intro was yeah. pretty cool. It is a good intro. like Yeah, and the animation yeah. is, like, banging, which is, is pretty crazy considering the animation in the actual episodes is yeah, not great. close to dog <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. shocking. The voice yeah. acting as well is hilarious. It is, yeah. I don't know whether it's on purpose, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, because... To, like it seems like they're doing it wrong for the first half of the episode yeah then, it's it's like a joke like, oh, no, i think that's just how he is that is panther yeah. he's just <laughs> <laughs> it's just so bizarre it is like uh it's like uh samurai pizza cats yeah and like someone's yeah. done it as a joke they've just like improv it mm. um, i think uh so some of them are meant to be awkward because like i know that like lion's story is that basically when the thundercats like came down he was a kid but he like grew up inside the capsule or something that dropped them down so he emerges as that like fully shredded to pieces like huge <laughs> man that he is <laughs> but he's still like a boy which is like that's kind <laughs> of like story so he's like meant to be a bit like clumsy and whatever but the rest of them are normal so i don't know why why they're equally as weird <laughs> i mean this one this one's got a lot of uh tiger in it hasn't it yeah <laughs> some weird he, tiger he well. is hilarious yeah he is really funny especially when so this one we watched what was it season one episode nine is that right yeah uh garden of delights garden of delights which is essentially just Tigra gets hooked on psychedelic drugs. Yeah, yeah. Tigra does uh, magic lemons. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> it all goes horribly wrong. I mean, it's a, it's a good moral of, like, don't do drugs, <laughs> but it's told yeah. in a very bizarre way. And, it, and it's fitting because the way this episode is written feels like a a trip. Yeah. Because it doesn't, yeah, it, really goes, it doesn't really thread together, does it? No, it, it, like I, I don't. I think when I remembered this episode, I, I thought it was a different episode altogether. Like <laughs> the end doesn't tie up with the start, really. It's like no. what, what has happened? It, goes it spends up. way too long on like Tigra getting visions. Oh yeah, that is well funny though. It's, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it basically it goes down into this this hole. There's all these earthquakes that Panthro keeps detecting, and Tiger finds his way down into this hole following a big silkworm, and he ends up in this cave where there's just this talking flower lady called Silky, and she just keeps giving him fruits, and he's like, oh yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have one, but then he just eats one, and then his brain is just a mush. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it turns out it's basically Mum Ra in disguise, just giving him fruit. That it's like clearly got it's like it the thing is it's like he's tripping before he's yeah. tripping yeah yeah there's there's some weird scenes where he keeps coming back into the cave and he's like oh i i shouldn't silky but um <laughs> oh mm, yes do you have any more fruit silky <laughs> it's so weird you can have as much fruit as you want <laughs> And then, like, he just keeps keeps going back for him all the time to the point where, like, there's a scene where Snarf is, like, really upset because there's just, like, lemon peelings or whatever it is all <laughs> over the floor because <laughs> Tiger's just been going mad on these weird fruits. <laughs> oh, so, man. Uh, yeah, it's quite a, quite a journey. Um, it probably, it's like the last five minutes. Mm. They just had to cram in the rest of the story. Yeah. Because it, it, like, so, yeah, Mumra hires, um, like, he's got Tiger, and then he hires, like, a warrior woman to, like, like jungle get the, woman. the Romans, and then they, like, hatch some plan to, like, get the rest so, yeah, of the... Yeah, what's it, he tells her that, that they stole, that they stole the, the, what was it? They were getting something to, they were giving Mumra the sword to destroy the jungle women. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what that's what he told her. Yeah, and then um, she's like, "Yeah, okay, let's fight them." Mm. And then they, they get trapped. Yeah, which I don't think we ever actually see how they escape. 
Do they just um, bring them out? I, yeah, I, I don't really know. They bring them out to get killed, don't they? Oh, Why yeah, they, they like come out to execute them or something. Yeah. <laughs> but they just all turn on him, and Mumra's yeah. like left in the lurches. Yeah, the warrior women just are like convinced because she sees that like <laughs> she sees that Tiger is not even really eating the fruit at some point. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it like num, 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 num. Num. this guy's just near it. Num 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 num. num, 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 num. It's a really hilarious dramatic zoom onto her face when she sees it. <laughs> so shocked. Uh, yeah, you see, that's 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 actually pieced a few things together for me because I just thought that was terrible animation. <laughs> <laughs> like they, he's not even properly eating it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. So now that makes sense. She saw that and then uh, realised she just tweaked. Yeah, that he's brainwashed, yeah. It's a bit complicated, to be honest, because I, I don't think I got that when I watched it. The only thing I took away from this episode when I was younger was, like, maybe don't eat fruit from weird people in a well, so, Yeah, I mean, it's so metaphorical. Yeah. And also, I remembered the word ingenuity, which Panthro um, <laughs> teaches you. <laughs> when he, he, set, he takes a disc off his belt and turns it into, like, a video drone. <laughs> And, then, and he just, then he just keeps saying ingenuity. So the yeah, kids are nobody. Are... <laughs> nobody. It was a good job Panthro used that. What was it? Ingenuity. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep hammering it home. So you're like, yeah, yeah, ingenuity. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's yeah. I mean, it's creative. That I would say yeah. is my description <laughs> <laughs> of uh, of the entirety of the episode. Definitely interesting. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, this it's what is Mumra a monkey? And I, I don't know. I, I think it's he's like, like an a, ape. Yeah, I think he's maybe like a mummified ape or something, or just like a weird old man. I don't really it's know. Just a mummy, just, isn't it? Is that what the yeah, is? Yeah. He does look ape-like. He's got that really yeah. big filtering going on. But um, yeah, and then well, his I mates think... were like a frog and another. Yeah ape yeah and that like weird wolfy thing yeah right. and yeah just around with them yeah they're like his minions but they're all a bit thick mumra's always hatching plans and like i think when i was looking over the episode descriptions it seems like there's a lot of times where um something happens on third earth where they are and it's actually just mumra in disguise so apparently he uses this trick like all the time <laughs> <laughs> it's like every other episode. <laughs> Someone turns up out of the blue, but it's actually Mumra. <laughs> like... I love the. Uh, uh, we're not mentioning the mole people. Oh it's yeah, the mole. People. What he called the mole-like people, which were definitely yeah. just moles. <laughs> they just were in it for like five seconds for no real reason whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, the worm. What happened with that? Nobody knows. He just he just went on his way. Apparently. See you later. That, I think I, I think I liked that as a kid though that there was just this weird, this very strange world that they lived on, and they didn't even really know what was going on there. They just kind of turned up, and it was like, oh, the, like they just keep <laughs> finding stuff as they go along. It made it more of like an ex I like exploration to, on top of it. I like the way they uh, tell you about it. So if if this is the first episode you've watched, Tiger mm -hmm. was like. What is another strange addition to this crazy place we live on that we call <laughs> Third Earth? <laughs> so, it's giving me the background. That's it's it. It's definitely, uh, yeah, I mean, it's original. It's, yeah, it's very different. I, I can't think of anything else that's really, really like it. It, it yeah, I mean, to... there's loads of stuff that is in the same sort of. You can see the ripoffs of it. Yeah. Because we've watched a few. Because there's like um, skeleton warriors. Yeah, that's very it's, it's tried. To very that. similar. Yeah. Uh, even though it, it isn't the same, it has a similar mm. feel to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing He-Man has a similar feel to it. I think so, yeah. 
uh, Swamp Thing. I All think it's not men. similar. Yeah. <laughs> it was just 80s. Even yeah. Though... I think that's a thing. It's like just... something that looks 80s, looks like yeah. Thundercat. Because Thundercat. And it's like everything they use looks like toys. Yeah, it does, yeah. Like his lion gauntlet. What is that? Oh, I don't, I never understood how that worked, but I thought it was well cool. <laughs> I, I, love, I love the idea of it because it just like snaps to his leg as well. So you're just like, oh, that's well good. You just, it's just so portable. And then you just like, <laughs> is it the glove? It's just, it's like a multi tool for like yeah. eight, like cyborg, like half animal people. It's just, is it just, I take it, it's just something, it works for whatever you need it for. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's it. It just comes and in handy. Saves the day. Yeah. That's what you I need mean, it for. You always need yeah. one of those. I feel like, you know, if you've got um, Tigra's whip, mm. you would be well jealous. Or like Pan Panthro's uh, crappy little nunchucks, and he's looking yeah. at Lionel with a sword and, and a multi tool gun. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And Chitara's got a flipping stick. The classic yeah. <laughs> Donatello of the group and that was just in staff. I suppose on the plus side, uh, Panthro has got ingenuity. Yeah, yeah, he has got ingenuity. And Tigra, the architect as well, which Mum Ra says probably more than once in this episode, which <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. to make sure that you know who built the, uh, yeah. like the cat. Yeah, it was Tigra. So. On this crazy place we call Third <laughs> Earth. <laughs> But yeah, it's a, it is a strange show, and I think this is one of those episodes where you just like, what, what is going on? Like, yeah, did you kind of expect it to just be like one of those? Oh, the bad guys have cooked up and like something, and they're just it's just going to be all action for like you know twenty two minutes. But this is just one of those where it's like it takes a real, <laughs> real swervy meandering route to get to the point where there's action. But yeah. I do like that when the action kicks in, the music kicks in as well. Yeah. Right. But I will say so. as well, like the action kicks in, the music kicks in. I'm like, oh boy. And yeah. then it was really, really crap. <laughs> the, the action was like, <laughs> like I was, was the, the music it? actually made it like I, I thought more was going to come. Yeah. Other than just uh, like, or none of the villains got beat up. They just got scared. Yeah, they all just like teleported away. <laughs> <Straight> away. <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's the greatest power of all is to win a that's fight it. without the fighting. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been following around large scary worms? Yes. Tired of walking around the same old rocky passages? Yes. Have you been accosted by mole-like men? Oh, yes. Then try new LSD Juicy Lemon. Yes, try them. Mmm, these are so good. I feel like I'm flying. Do you have any more fruit, Silky? You can have as many fruits as you want. Oh! That's... LSD Juicy Lemon. Mmm, they taste so good, and I'm not even biting them. They're the juiciest fruits on this place we call Third, Third Earth. Earth. I would also like to say that uh, we do not condone the use of LSD or eating whole uh, lemons. It's just not good for you. No. Well, the lemons might might be okay, but they're just so, so zingy. So, so sour. So, so sour. I just wouldn't <laughs> recommend it, that's all. Um, Even Tiger doesn't bite straight into them, so that's how <laughs> We have come to that time where we must rate up this cat-like man. <laughs> with our rating trend and uh, we have a three point rating system you may know it well you may not uh, for those that don't it's a uh, thumbs up ingenuity thumbs down I, it's just such a mess in here there's lemon peels everywhere and shaky middle 
how do I eat? <laughs> so good, bad, uh, not really sure, kind of in the middle. So Thundercats, your thoughts? Yes. Well, um, I think from from the get go with Thundercats, you're in in for a, a an eighties wild ride. I think, and I think if you can tolerate that, then um, you know you serve a better chance of surviving the next twenty minutes than the other people that can't. Because <laughs> you've got, uh, I enjoy the music, like even the um, from the intro to the action, you know, the Thundercats theme, but then also the little bits in between as well. There's like really nice little soft keys when things are like they're just having downtime and. And the, I realised that the, uh, the the drama music, like the horrible horns and stuff, they've haunted me for longer than I actually knew. As soon as they came on, it's like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh no. It's just like uh, flashback. Mold like men. <laughs> no, the worm. The worm. <laughs> um, but yeah, the story is weird. But I, I, like, it doesn't, it's not really clear what they did with the episode. <laughs> <laughs> which you know that's not really a point up but i do like that they were just they didn't make it straightforward it's like you can tell it's kind of trying to be something more than just a standard show or whatever it's like whether they succeeded at that or not it's still up in the air but <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> like I, I appreciate the attempt um the character design is odd but it's different like it's cool yeah. like some of the bits are cool like the, the sword's pretty cool and the, the gun like, more cool like yeah it's got an originality to it yeah yeah um and you know mum ra is a pretty pretty cool villain as well like yeah he transforms into everyone apparently <laughs> he's got like his his shabby side and then he's got his like go out to the fancy hotel with all the other villains side when he like upgrades um and you know he's he's dastardly and he's got some schemes and stuff so i think it, it makes overall for a pretty enjoyable show um yeah. whether you you know what's going on or not most of the time i think so i'd say for me it's a thumbs up a thumbs up mm. um, not too surprised if i'm honest yeah and i, I don't think i was either <laughs> <laughs> i think uh, there's a certain amount of nostalgia yeah, I think this is one of the few where it's like, I, I think I succumb to a bit of the the nostalgia. But um, that being said, so I went in on it absolutely fresh, obviously, um, which I will say it wasn't, um, I, I was prepared for the most 80s ride. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I was greeted with that. But yeah. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't terrible. It was. It was. It was all right. I liked. It felt like they'd written a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. And then swapped it out for cats and worms <laughs> <laughs> and mummies and stuff. But I did. I did like. Like I say, I feel like we've seen so many similar things. Mm -hmm. um, but this, it does. I, I can see where it's come from. Almost like this is like. A bit more original in the way that i know a lot of those things we saw ripped this off yeah um i did think the animation was not great yeah um which does kind of not help a lot uh, there's a lot of stuff that you know the classic built for toys mm. stuff and the voice acting was pretty shoddy <laughs> to say the least but um i did quite like the story it was pretty hilarious mm. um whether it was supposed to be or not i'm not entirely sure but it did have bits i i wasn't i wasn't bored i, I did enjoy it it was very uh I, i'm trying to think of the word kind of ridiculous but still pulled me in yeah yeah um, and I don't know what you mean about like the world, this place we call Third Earth. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to it, and you've got yeah. like these jungle warriors and the Thundercats themselves, the mole people, Mumra yeah. and his goons. I mean, I don't know how much more is on this world, oh, but yeah. there seems to I'm, be plenty. I'm... So there's a lot of scope, and it does feel like, oh yeah, this is 
you know, I do, I would like to know more about these things. I do feel like they didn't entirely explain everything within the episode. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it comes up later or if it was just weird. The worm mainly is the thing I don't really, and, yeah. and the mole men, I mean, these mole guys, they, they can kind of come out and just say, look, there's more people on the world. That's fine. Mm. But the worms seem to be creating a story that didn't need, that didn't exist yeah um i don't get that but yeah overall i would put myself at a solid shaky middle yeah that's not bad so yeah not a th- not a thumbs down by any means but no. but i don't feel like it was a thumbs up i do I, I am interested to watch um the new one yeah because having seen how actually ridiculous the old one is <laughs> the new one doesn't seem so ridiculous from what i've seen I think there's a lot of people that just remember their Thundercats and they're just yeah. probably already angry without seeing anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe. It, I mean, it doesn't look the same. I'll, I'll, give, no. I'll give them that. And it just obviously it's going to be purposely stupid. But, you know, as we've seen before, that's not always a bad thing. That's it. So I will go in open-minded as much as many, I'm sure, will not. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I guess we'll be doing that next time. Yeah. Why not? So maybe not? next week we'll get on yeah. there. Because we'll see how, side side see comparison. Yeah. In these, in these dark times, maybe the light roar will lift us. That's <laughs> it. Or throw us further into the alleyways. The worm tunnels. Uh, <laughs> the worm tunnels of the more like men. But that's been another week. And <laughs> I'm guessing, well, expect another um, Skype special. Yeah. Because we won't be out anytime soon. But otherwise, uh, if you want to get in touch with us, uh, you can do so on the three lemons of the internet, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Instagram and Twitter at Toon Jam Pod. And you can give us any recommendations or say what you thought of what we thought mm-hmm. and maybe have a chat with us. Otherwise, until next time, stay jammy. And ho! Ho! <laughs> hey everyone, thank you for listening. If you want to help the show keep going, you can be extra jammy by heading over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash toonjampod. Here you can get a shout out on the show or unlock bonus episodes. Ratings and reviews anywhere you listen to the podcast also really help us out. So thank you and stay jammy. <laughs>